Hello everyone, this is Sandra from wallifier.com and whimsydreamsclipart.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the beautiful uh, Art Nouveau inspired design made to create a, you know, very cute bookmark that you can personalize with your name or your logo. So let's get started. You go here to Canva, of course, canva.com. And you find a link to Canva uh, down in the description if you're not yet a Canva user. Uh, Canva is free and there are also a paid version. So you can start out with a, a free version. Go to create a design and choose bookmark here or search a bookmark. So you go to bookmark. It's a two uh, by six inch uh, template format. So click here and voila, here it appears. So you can choose to use a pre-made uh, template if you are lazy or you know in a hurry and want to create something quick. But here in this tutorial, we are going to use the made design. So we start up by going to elements and go all the way down here to grids and then we click grids and we're going to make it a little bit smaller like this and i will first show you how you can create something with your logo if you want to add this like a gift in your package or something like that so then you just click again on grids and make it a little square or rectangle to be correct <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect you know we're just applying the base here and then you can click first the big one and hold the shift key and click the little square and then you can position it so it's in the middle like this anyway then you go to uploads I already uploaded uh, the May design here, but if you haven't done that, you go to upload image and search for your uh, for the May design on your computer. Uh, you find a link to the May design in the description below if you want to snatch it. You can of course use any graphic that you want, but you it has to be um, rectangular in shape, so to speak, uh, to you know for this tutorial. But anyway, you click this and drag it into the little rectangle here and make sure that no edges are cut off or anything. If it is, you just adjust this, um, the proportions of the rectangle and you do so by dragging and you see here, if it, this happens, then you just enlarge it a little bit and then make sure you center it again. And then you click on this little square here and you find your logo somewhere here. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Like this. And I drag it into the little square here. And if you want to print this, you go to download and uh, choose PDF print. And this ensures that you get 300 DPI. And I suggest you add uh, also crop marks and bleed to this. You can also go to uh, file, show print bleed. And then you see all the marks here, how it will show on the final uh, print. So this and crop marks and bleed and download. This is how the final file looks like. And you see here, you can use these lines to cut it beautifully. If you want to add your name here, uh, like, you know, personalized, you can remove this like this and go to text, add a subheading or something here it doesn't matter and write your name first like 
this. It doesn't have to be perfect at this point. And then you go to... I choose this vintage. I want a vintage look to this. So you can choose here from many, 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 many uh, fonts. The fonts that has this as a crown here are for pro so just know that if you have a free account so ha you have lots of uh, you have more options in the pro uh, version so let's see here i will go to my favorite for this let's see here if we find it it's cupola and this is a uh, Art Nouveau font, so I think it's very suitable, and it's also for the free version. Let me check. Yeah, it is. So sometimes things change, so <laughs> you just be sure. Like this, and I want it to be brown because brown is my favorite color of all time. So, like this, and now you highlight the flower and maybe make it a little bit smaller. Make sure nothing is cut off in the edges like this and center it and center your name as well like this and make it look fabulous <laughs> like you want to like this. This looks great I think. Then you go to download again PDF print crop marks and bleed and download. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this channel, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials. And you find a little you know, bell down <laughs> below here and just press it. In that way you get notifications when I upload new um, videos. If you want to learn more about Canva, and how to create crafts and printables and design, you know, your marketing stuff using Canva. Uh, feel free to join the Facebook group. You find the link down below. And it's a very friendly group uh, with lots of creative uh, people that is uh, that are always there to help you. So I love to see you inside. And if you want to learn how to create printables, say for your Etsy shop, uh, I have a class as well and it's open for enrollment and you find the enrollment link also in the description. So anyway, I hope you really enjoy this and that you create wonderful, wonderful art with this and bookmarks and stuff and see you in the next tutorial or video. <laughs> bye bye.